This short video will show you how to replace the Wi-Fi card and NVMe drive in a 2024 ROG Zephyrus G14. You will need a plastic pick or prying tool, a tray to hold your screws, tweezers, T6 Torx, and a Phillips head 00 worked fine for me. The first thing we're going to do is shut down the laptop. Once the laptop shuts down, you can go ahead and close the lid and flip it over. There are 11 total screws on the bottom of the laptop, so you'll want to get your tray ready um, to hold those screws. And also at the front of the laptop, um, those four screws are longer than the rest of them. So if you get them mixed up, just remember the four long ones go on the front of the laptop. There are two rubber covers we'll need to remove to get to the screws underneath. So now we are going to get ready to remove the bottom cover of the laptop. You can see I pull up on the bottom cover there, and um, then you can get the pick right in. And you don't want to push the pick in too much. Um, then once you do have it in a little bit there, you just slide it alongside the edges there. And you'll hear an audible click um, as you go around, and you can visually see it popping up. And you can see I don't even get all the way around, and mine came loose, and I was able to remove it. So this here on the left side is the Wi-Fi card, and we're going to remove that first. And this is the NVMe SSD, and we'll remove that second. Now we'll grab our Phillips head to remove the Phillips head screw holding down our Wi-Fi card. It should pop up slightly, then you can gently remove it at about a 10 degree angle. Now you can carefully remove the antenna connectors using tweezers or even your screwdriver should work. Now you can grab your new Wi-Fi card and we will install it. You can try putting the antenna connectors on first if you want, but I like to put the card in first and then connect the antenna connectors afterwards. You can carefully slot in the new card at about a 10 or 20 degree angle. Then hold the card down and use your Phillips head to screw it back in. Now for these antenna connectors, you'll want to be very careful. Uh, it's a circular type of connection that actually pops in. So you'll want to place the connector just above where it needs to go, and then you're going to push down directly on it, and then it should pop in. Now for the NVMe SSD, it has some shielding on it. We'll want to remove that first. Uh, just be careful not to rip it. This is just a flap that you need to peel up to gain access to the Phillips head screw. Once that's peeled up, you can use your Phillips head to unscrew that Phillips head screw. The drive may pop up, but if not, you can grab, uh, I would use your plastic uh, pick to get underneath it, and you can just kind of push it up and it should pop up. Then from there, you can slide off the shielding and then you can pull the drive out. To install is just the reverse of what we just did. So push the drive in at about a 10 or 15 degree angle. And then from there, you can slide on the shielding. Then you'll want to hold down the drive and take your Phillips head and don't screw it all the way down. Screw it almost all the way just so the shielding can still move. That'll give us a little wiggle room so we can fold over that shielding. So here I slide the shielding towards the screw, um, so it gives me a little more room to fold it over. Um, and then you can kind of push it back and then uh, finish securing that screw. Now we just need to put the bottom cover back on and we are done. There's really no special way to put the bottom cover back on that I know of. You kind of just place it on there and then you can go around um, pretty much the whole cover and just kind of push down. And then you can hear clicks to where it clicks in. And if you're nervous, just start off with a lighter pressure and then, you know, just gradually um, put more pressure on the back panel to pop it back into place. Once it's in place, you can go ahead and put the screws back in. And remember 
the four long screws go on the front of the laptop. This tutorial is just showing you how to swap the actual hardware. Uh, I'm not going to show installing drivers or reinstalling windows, but if you do have any questions, you can not ask me in the comments and I will do my best to answer any questions. Now you can't just open the laptop and hit the power button. You will need to plug it into power first and then it will turn on. After that, you can unplug the power. Hopefully this helps anyone looking to do these upgrades and thank you for watching.